thing like in the dressing room to, to fight his defeat? Um, I suppose the next game can't come quick enough, you know. Uh, yeah, it's tough to take, you know, when you have a big game like that and you come out the wrong side of us. Um, so we just can't wait to put it behind us and move on and react to it, you know. So yeah, we've been training now, so we're going to. Um, Looking forward to Friday and having a reaction. Yeah, obviously the manner of the defeat, the concession of the last minute goal must really you know, rankle, would you? Yeah, as I said, I don't know, we just, the only way you forget about it and move on is when you get another game under your belt. Um, and so that's what we're looking to do because yeah, you could you could be up all night thinking about it, you know, because it, it would generally wreck your head, you know, it wrecks the week, like, you know, you're constantly thinking about it. So just as I said, you now get the, the Friday game going and then. Um, we look forward to that then, like, you know. We saw Damien Delaney make his debut tonight. How much of a buzz has he brought to the dressing room? Yeah, brilliant. I think, like, you see it there tonight, like, but we see it more so in training even, you know, he's constantly giving information, constantly, you know, um, I suppose just dictating from, from his position, you know. You hear him all over the pitch, mm. the training ground, you hear him all over the training ground, we're training him, and you see he's a quality player, you know, he's come from unbelievable levels, so... um. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really exciting to, to have him on board, definitely. And how happy were you to see Johnny get 20 minutes tonight? Yeah, I think that was the the highlight of it all now, you know, to absolute credit to him, to himself, the, the professionalism of him, to the difficult year he's had, and to be back on the pitch there now, you know, um, it's unbelievable, and I genuinely am delighted for him, you know, to see him out there and have a a good whatever he got there, 30 minutes or so, you know, it's great to have him back, and um, he's a top fella, and like I said, I know, just buzzing from. And just for Friday, John Caulfield uh, described your defeat up in uh, Tala as a tanking there, so do you feel like you're over one on Friday night? Uh, yeah, definitely. I don't know I don't know what happened that night. Maybe we got caught out, whatever, you know. Um, we, won't, we didn't really turn up, you know, so um, we're looking forward to, to having a go off on Friday and uh, putting that right. <coughs> it shows you kind of what sport John Mitchell did. This is very up and down. I mean, to be beaten in the last minute, but the match before the break, then you came up with a winner in the second last minute. So it just shows you it's a competitive league, isn't it? And you have to go to the end. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it's um like that. It's the nature of the, the game. You know, you're there's ups, there's downs, and I suppose that's the beauty of it as well. You know, so or, uh, we take it and we move on. And um, like I say, I know I'm beating myself, but the only way to fit to to play it is when we get going on Friday night. You know, and put in a solid performance and get the result we need. And then, um, you know, the wrong is right, I suppose, you know, and then we can we can kick on and uh, look forward to the next game then, you know. It shows you you have to be ready to start though, doing that, that night against Rovers. I mean, Graham Burke has ended up getting a move out of it because Martin O'Neill yeah. and Ryan Keane were at the match, like, so. Yeah, to be fair, John's always saying it, you know, the first 10, 15 minutes, like, you know, you have to turn up, you know, you do. And if, um, I think, if you don't, it gives us the, you know, Gives the opposition a grip of the game uh, straight away, and you're 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 trying to claw it back from them, you know. So um, you definitely you need to be ready, and even you know when you're on the bench, like you say, you're coming on. I think it's a collective uh, mind frame. The whole lot of us when we come on, where or when we start or whatever we do, we're all ready to go. So the minute the the whistle goes, you're at it, you know. You're um you're up to the. I suppose it's just getting to that that level of intensity, and um, getting to that level as quickly as possible, you know. Um, and that's what we look to do. The Rovers have been very inconsistent this season. Is it difficult to kind of know what you're going to get when you're going out on the pitch? Normally, when you play Dundalk, you know you're going to get a certain level of performance, but Rovers, you just don't know what you're going to get. Uh, yeah, well, to be fair, you see, I think every team now that turns up here, plays us, whatever, they're, they're all chomping at the bit. So we know we're going to get the best Rovers side, you know, to, on Friday night. We always do. And um, they always strike the same as every team in the league because obviously we're the, the champions. So they're all they all turn up and they all have their A game. So um I think Friday night will be no different, so I'd expect them to be at their best, um, as will we. And you've a lot of players coming back now, back from loan spells, back from this, that and the other. Is it a bit crowded in training or how's how's it going with the kind of new guys coming back in? No, it's great. Like it's just, you know, when players come back or whatever there's you know, there's new life coming into it, there's a new buzz, they've uh, they've their own uh, I suppose agendas to get back in the team and you know they, so they're trying their best, so the, the, everybody's trying to get back in the team, and um, it's really competitive, which is what you need when you're when you're trying to uh, go for leagues and cups and stuff. You know, you need, and it comes from the training ground. So um, it's great to have all the lads back, and uh, like there's a, I'd say, John, John has a nearly full team, maybe I don't know. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of bodies there, which is um, 
which is really good. Yeah, and I, I suppose John told us that all talk of the Champions League is banned in the dressing room, but is it hard not to keep half an eye and you know prospect? Uh, to, to be uh, obviously, like you know, you look at it, you just you saw so what you're what you're doing or whatever. Like you know, you you look at the team you're playing all that, but um, you don't like we've with John. It's he he drives it home that the next game is the biggest. So we we actually don't even mention. It's not. I don't think I've heard. Bar the boys, the the lads there, the odd time we mention it, you know, just over lunch or something. But mm. it's not even mentioned in the training ground. You know, it won't be mentioned now till till we're actually coming up to play them. You know, and then we'll do a homework, whatever, and you know, prepare properly for that. Like, but or we have a big thing that we the next game is the game. You know, so we won't even we won't even look. You know, until mm. until it's time. And I suppose you have that <coughs> rivalry with Dundalk uh, again last Friday when you're when you're kind of competing against the same team over and over again. Um, like, does it increase that want to kind of go in the league because you know that next season you know you're playing them again and you'll have to you'll have the bragging rights over them? Yeah, um, yeah, I suppose there is an element of that, but it's just when you're it doesn't matter really that it's Dundalk. It's every team we play. Like I say, <coughs> when when you don't get the result, it lingers for the week. You know, you've there's there's a bad taste in your mouth for the week. You know, so. Um, the best thing you can do is go out and win the game, and then you have, you know, you have a positive end to your your week's work, and I think that's what we look to do.